up everyone and welcome back to the Ruh-Oh's Room. All right y'all, so we got a great video today. So I saw this awesome movie yesterday called Flamin' Hot. It's the story about our famous most favorite snack for a lot of people in this world. Flamin' Hot Cheetos, Flamin' Hot Funyuns, all those great things. They made a movie about the man who invented it, baby. And I saw it and I'm here to give you the insight. It inspired me and made me just love high Cheetos even more. So to start off the movie, right? So you're trying to figure out who they're talking about. You got this guy going through a kitchen and you see a waiter and then you see the waitresses and, you, and you're trying to figure out who is this movie about? And then you get to the table and there's the guy who created Flamin' Hot Cheetos. So his story is freaking crazy. He met his wife in elementary school, right? And he was poor, he was a poor Hispanic man. And he grew up, he didn't finish high school, he sold drugs, he was on the wrong path. But his, his girlfriend at the time got pregnant. So he decided he wanted to change his life, right? That's a lot of people's stories. But where this man's story starts to differentiate from other people's is he decided in order to support his family, he was going to go find a job. And he was having the hardest time finding a job. And then one of the people that he used to hang out with when he was selling drugs got a job at Frito-Lay. Okay? Frito-Lay. And... He actually lied on his resume and the guy, the hiring manager still hired him as a janitor. Now, this man was not stupid. He was very smart. He was, he knew all about like mechanics and fixing things. So, you know, he wasn't like no dumb man just going in for a job. He knew what he was doing. And he started questioning people and asking people questions about the machines and all this other stuff, right? So, fast forward, he, his, his son, he came to a point where his son was getting bullied like he was getting bullied in elementary school about being Hispanic. And he took them to go get elote. If y'all know what elote is, it's uh, Spanish corn. So he took them to get elote and he had the brilliant idea to put all that spicy stuff that the Spanish people put on like their fruit, their chips, the spicy se chili seasoning. He wanted to make a seasoning like that for the name brand of the name brands for Frito Lay's company. So him and his wife are in the kitchen and they're cooking, 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 cooking. And they're mixing all these different peppers and chilies together, making wet sauces and dry sauces. And it's just amazing. And they finally figure out the hot Cheeto, right? So this man literally went through all this stuff. He had so many so many falls and highs and lows and it was it was a great movie it, but the part that inspired me the most is that this man did not give up so my thing that i got out of this is do not give up on your dreams do not give up on your ideas do not let anybody's doubts deter you from your destiny this man did not listen to the naysayers he did a lot of stuff on his own he had to he had to market hot cheetos when they first came out he had to market them with all the people that worked at feeder lane in his in his factory and all the people in the neighborhood were handing out hot cheetos so that people it was guerrilla marketing and it was freaking amazing and they made hot cheetos blow up just from that one act of bravery and courage and it just made me cry like i cried the whole movie bro I cried the whole movie and it was an amazing amazing movie and the end brought me to even more tears i'm just sobbing and sobbing and i'm like i'm telling my husband i'm like this movie was so good i can't forget it like i want to eat hot cheetos all the time now I was, I was like i watched the mcdonald's movie and it made me not like mcdonald's guy or mcdonald's in the first place y'all if you don't get anything from that movie it is do not give up on your dreams now let me bring it back to me real quick so for me i have always 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 been interested in youtube i always wanted to pursue youtube i just didn't know what area i was gonna be in so i decided like i get a lot of inspiration from things that i do and see on a daily basis so i wanted to inspire people like I've been inspired. Use my life situations 
and life circumstances and things that I've seen and been things that have been shown to help inspire others. And this movie was one of those things. And literally I wrote down in my my um, notebook that I was gonna do a video about not getting up on your dreams. And then I watched this movie and I'm like, this is, this is what I'm gonna talk about, to not give up on your dreams. You have to be like this guy. Do not let go of your vision. Do not let go of your plan, no matter what's in your way, no matter what hiccups you may have, what, what boundaries they're trying to press against you, what things that they're trying to throw at you to make you give up and all the difficulties that you're gonna have to go through, whether it be financial, mental, just, marketing, whatever it is, do not give up on your dreams, okay? If God gave you a vision, he will see fit to put the people in your life to make that vision come true. And that is exactly what happened for that man that made hot Cheetos. He put the right people in his life at the right times. And he, and he allowed him to meet the right people, to be able to call the right people and all, all throughout the movie, you can see how God literally walked this man right into his destiny. Walked him right into his destiny. And it was amazing. And I just want to say, like, I don't, I can't remember the man's name. Give up on your ideas. Some people on YouTube will tell you to think small. Let go of your dreams. I actually saw a man tell me things that he learned in his 20s is, is to hold lightly to his dreams. And that is the opposite of what the Bible would teach us what God would say to us he wants us to hold on to our dreams. he wants us to hold on to our visions because he has the plans to and the people to help bring that to fruition in his timing so do not let people deter you and and put you in a mindset of oh this isn't gonna work oh you're stupid you're not good enough nobody knows you nobody wants to know you nobody cares because in reality God will send you the people that care God will send you the people that see the vision just like you do. God's going to take care of it. And the, and the thing that made me cry even more is his wife had been praying for him. Praying nonstop for this man. That he would become the man of God that she knew he could be. And he became that. And the most powerful part in this movie was when they were going to go send off the samples of hot Cheetos that they made at their house to the CEO of Frito-Lay and PepsiCo. They prayed over the hot Cheeto bags before they shipped them off. And it wasn't like the, like a, you know, churchy prayer. It was literally like he was talking to God, like he was, God was his homeboy. And God saw fit and he saw that prayer through. And now we know Hot Cheeto as a household name for a lot of people. A lot of people buy Hot Cheetos. And it was just amazing. It was freaking amazing. I was truly inspired. I'm not going to give up my on my dreams. And I hope you guys won't give up on yours. Please, please do not give up on your dreams. If that man could do it, a guy with no education, like... If he can do it, y'all can do it. If he can do it, y'all can do it. If he can do it, y'all can do it. Okay? If he can do it, God, God can do it for you. You're not too little or too unknown or whatever the case may be. If he can do it, God can do it for you as well. All right, y'all. That's all I got for y'all today. Peace. We are leaving the Rose Room.